Welcome to Quad Trails TV. We're here in Silver Lake, Michigan, riding the sand dunes. I'm here with Patrick Saunders from All Terrain Vehicle Product Testing. He uh, tests a bunch of ATVs. He's invited me along to go run the dunes here. It's my first time in an ATV. I've got this Kawasaki here, and uh, let's go have some fun out in the dunes in West Michigan. You have to be 12 and over to uh, ride any ATV here with the safety certificate, 16 and over to ride a three-wheeler, and 16 and over to ride um, most any type of quad out here. So rules are basically the same all across the board for ATV, whether it be sand or trail riding. Well, it's quite a bit of difference between ATV and trail riding, actual trail riding, and dune riding. Uh, a couple of different things we do is we'll use paddle tires which really help to uh, give us a lot more traction in the sand. Uh, we use lowered air pressures, quite a bit lower that wouldn't be acceptable for trail riding. So it's kind of like the yin and the yang of trail riding versus sand. There's a lot of differences. So uh, guys with the two-wheel drive vehicles are using uh, real narrow tires on the front with hardly any knobs on them, uh, paddles on the rear. Uh, Foil drive guys will be running pads front and rear. You don't want to run a different tire on the front and a different tire on the back. They have to be the same size, so they work pretty good in foil drive. So it's just quite a bit of a uh, difference. A different style of riding, uh, kind of similar to snow riding, where you have to really be aware of your surroundings, watch out for crests on the hills. Just it's just different. It's way way different. Trail riding, you're out tootling enjoying the ride, making miles, kind of like snow trail riding, you're going someplace. With the sand riding, you're more more or less attacking the hills and seeing if you can make them, uh, make as much fun as you can. We tend to try to go around and do a few laps and kind of test out the hills, see how they're crusted before we really, really get on them any because it's just a matter of go flying around the first thing you get here, you're going you're gonna to have some problems, oh, yeah. you know, and just watch out for things. You know, people uh, tend to drop things where they, where they lay on vehicles, all sorts of vehicle parts around here that we have to be aware of. You've got to watch out for stumps. And, the sand shifts all over the place. Just, if you look on the far side where we're at today, you know, that sand a few years ago, there was trees and everything there. It just kind of moves, it kind of moves around.
flying around here in sand dunes. It's absolutely wonderful. Total blast. This uh, Kawasaki that I'm on is doing a great job. It's throwing this renegade here by Bombardier. And even this little Yamaha is keeping up with us. It does go really nice. You know, I just, I'm real impressed with it. You know, to me, the Renegade is Bombardier's best for Can Am's best. Dune riding, well, one of the things Stephen said, uh, watch for. Watch for people coming the other way, watch for the flags sticking out. And one, of the, one of the big things you, uh, you gotta be, you're, you're cruising up that hill, you're really attacking it, trying to make it up that hill, and you have to. Watch out when you accelerate off the top of the hill and land on the other side. You never know when somebody's going to be stuck or, or just kind of hanging there on the other side. Really watch out for that flag. It's the only indicator you really have of, uh, you know, of traffic that is stopped. Um, All right, I just tried this hill right up there. And uh, I didn't make it to the top. I had to back back down it. We're gonna try it one more time and uh, see how we do here on Quad Trails TV.